Hey Gemini, welcome to the Crow Tarot. We're gonna be doing your second half of May, general reading here. We're gonna start off with an animal energy, like I like to do. And then we'll go right into the Tarot. All right. What is the animal energy for Gemini for second half of May? Please and thank you. Ooh, yeah, okay. So we got the frog. Yes. So the frog is, I can't remember if you've ever gotten this before. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the frog is about detoxing. Yep. This can be an actual physical detox, right? But this can also be internal, right? Determining what is and isn't working for you, what is raising your vibrational energy and what is not. This is really about culling things that, that are just not working for you anymore. That, but this is also about releasing right? And then you see the rain coming down here. It's good. You know, it has that cleansing effect very much. So this is very much about detoxification, darlings, detoxifications and new beginnings post detox. Honestly, think about it. When you do a detox, whether it's detoxing yourself from like a, you know, toxic relationship or situation or job sphere, whatever, or if it's you're actually doing a detox where you're fasting or juicing or whatever, don't you feel brand new after that? That's what it is here. What's the purpose of it? To get to like a clean slate and feeling brand new and so fresh and so clean, clean. All right, what's going on for Gemini? Wow, yeah, ooh, the hermit Virgo energy. Wow, just as we were talking about detoxing. Do you see the star here? Well, it's actually in the lantern as well in the traditional deck, but they have it displayed again here. This is the star from the star card, right? Which is about connecting in with the divine hope and divinity within and around you for inspiration, guidance, and support. You know, the hermit is very much about going inside and just sitting with your own energy. Now, the hermit is, it, you know, I love the hermit, actually. It's one of my favorites. And the reason behind that is because the hermit is inactive in most ways, but you are actively being inactive when you are pulling a hermit, right? Because the whole point of going into hermit mode in this context is to come outside of it with a fresh perspective and, and newness and seeing things and feeling things and knowing things more clearly than you did before going into the hermit mode, right? You really might be being called to like really remove your energy from other people's uh, at this time and just sit with your own. Um, could be, you know, calling a need for like a revamp, refresh type deal. This is also, think about this in terms of, of, of like your phone. So, or your computer. When your phone starts glitching, what do you do? You turn it off and then you turn it back on again. That's what the hermit is. It's shutting down so that you can reboot and start again all fresh, right? All right, what else is going on for Gemini? Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I love you. I love this so much. I'm going to tell you how this is lining up like so beautifully. So the Queen of Pentacles is a great receiver. She doesn't chase anything. She doesn't have to get after anything. She just receives all the goodness and bounty. Do you see the, um, the rabbit here, which is about fertility? And then you have the lotus flower here, which rises up from the muck and the dirt and the excrement to come out on top all beautiful. Then you've got the butterfly, um, which is transformation metamorphosis from one state of being to another. Ooh, that is very much the theme you you guys going from one energy state to another and coming out of it with a more clear vision of what is in alignment with where not with where you are but where with where you want to be I think you're being called to really take some time to think about where you're going where you want to go where you want to be how you want to feel because the frog is very much about feeling but this is about receiving and so's the hermit Yep, not really a time to like go get after anything, right? I feel like you guys have been doing that, which is why it's time to turn off reboot and, you know, start start with some fresh energy here and a fresh perspective. What else is going on for y'all? <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. So this is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Please take your time with this. And I do feel like you're at a bit of a crossroads. Or it may, you know what I'm getting? This is interesting. I feel like it, for some of you, it's going to feel like a major crossroad point, but it's not as, things in the mirror may seem larger than they actually are. 
<laughs> like it may seem like a big crossroads and it feels like this, but really you just need to take a weekend <laughs> or a week or two weeks or a month or whatever have you and just kind of reboot and you're, you're going to be like, oh, that mountain was actually a molehill. Cool. You know what I mean? So the Knight of Pentacles is really taking your time and being thoughtful. This is a slow moving offer here. I feel like this is a source of inspiration for you. I feel like you're, you've got two pentacles in the Hermit. Please go slow and take your time, right? Going to the end of May. This is not a time to be impulsive or make any decision or movement quickly. Not before you get all the information. Okay. Oh, weird. They're drawing my attention to something. Okay, okay. So you see these red flowers down here? They look like poppies to me. I don't know if that's what they actually are, but they're literally showing me that scene from Wizard of Oz where Dorothy is freaking tired and you know the poppies make her fall asleep and it's magic and everything. But she she goes in the poppy field and then she just like gets so sleepy and takes a you know a nap and she's just like, you know, turned off and then reboots, right? That's literally what they're showing me for you guys, right? You gotta think about it too, that Dorothy's achieved a lot. That happens right before she gets where she's going. Doesn't that happen right before they get to the, the Emerald Castle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, take this time to reboot and you're gonna come out of this like just like version 2.0. I'm hearing too that if, if you if you choose not to do this, of course it's always up to you. But if you choose not to do this, you may fall into a trap of making choices based on old information. That's it, okay? The hermit goes in to find inspiration and direction forward, okay? Remember, it's an active, inactive energy. Okay, hermit. Ah, ha, 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 ha. The fool, absolutamente. And I really love when a major clarifies a major because the majors speak of destined events. So this is big stuff going on, y'all. It is. So why not take your time getting there, right? So the fool here is taking a leap of faith and starting brand new. I do feel like this hermit is calling you to go inside and really determine what is and isn't working so that you can find a new, fresh direction moving forward. I feel like there are some people and or situations in your life that are no longer a vibrational match to where you are and where you want to be. We are who we spend time with. Think about that. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Let's get a clear fire for this Queen of Pentacles here. Ooh. Okay. We got the Six of Cups. I love this so much with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is brilliant. Remember how we talked about the Queen of Pent Pentacles is a great receiver and she just always trusts that whatever she needs is going to come to her, right? And so it always does. The Six of Cups in the traditional deck, this is a little boy giving a cup with a flower in it to a little girl, right? This is very nostalgic. This is very throwback. I'm feeling like in this place of receptivity, because we're talking about getting into a place of receptivity so that you can go forward and then be active and contribute to your path, right? I'm feeling here to think about what fills you with joy like it did when you were a child, when you looked up and five hours had passed. When you were a kid, you didn't feel the need to set your clock and your alarm, you just were, right? Just in that vortex energy here. I am hearing that when you're in this downtime for yourself, should you choose to take this, right? What are you going to do in there? Remember how I said it's an active, inactive time? To be in a place of receptivity, get into that vortex. And what do I mean by that creative vortex energy? Whether that's writing, reading, painting, coloring in a coloring book, whatever that is. It's the act of creation. It's going to get you into that beautiful vortex. And a good clue as to what that could be for you is what you love doing as a child is what I'm hearing. That is your mission, should you choose to accept it, right? Okay, fine. So they're telling me, <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. They're saying something to me though. Um, I do feel like for some of you, there's going to be a person, sometimes the Six of Cups is like someone from our actual past and sometimes it's someone that we've known in a past life. I gotta tell you something. I do feel like for a few of you, there could be someone from your past, um, doesn't have to be romantic in nature, but someone that you definitely had an emotional tattoo, coming back around during this time when you are detoxing and being in your own energy. 
because we've got the Knight of Pentacles here too. And I'm hearing it's gonna be up to you, but please be discerning as to whether they're a vibrational match to where you are and where you wanna be before you let that invitation go. But for the most part, this is spending time doing what gets you into that vortex energy and that you love doing and fills your heart with joy, right? Okay. All right, let's get a clarifier for this Knight of Pentacles here. Isn't that always the way too. Like when we disconnect and really take time for ourselves, people be coming out the woodwork and stuff. Because <laughs> they can feel like that release of energy and it's like, wait a minute. Okay, let's get a clarifier for... <laughs> Took three seconds. Five of Cups to clarify the Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting here. Now, traditionally speaking, the Five of Cups is lamenting what isn't working as opposed to focusing on what is. That could be the greater reason why you're being called to do this, to shift your focus and vibration. But, however, and, what I feel like this is saying, if any of you got, you know Sisyphus, you know Sisyphus? <laughs> that, you know, the Greek myth where he was literally rolling that boulder up the hill only to have it fall down again every single day. If you, if, okay, what, what is your boulder? I feel like there's a boulder here. It could be friends, family, relationship, uh, work, whatever have you, creative project. If there is a boulder that you are continually pushing up a hill only to have it roll back down again, release it. Stop pushing it up, at least for now. Stop pushing it up the hill. That's what I'm hearing. Focus on what is working as opposed to what isn't and take your time in doing, yeah, see? And this is the slowest moving in the deck and I'm getting this Sisyphus and this Wizard of Oz imagery here. It's time for a reboot and a reset. And anything, listen, I'm just gonna say something like that's coming to me. Like when something is in alignment with your path at a given point in time, what I mean by that is when you want something and you are a vibrational match to it, it will be relatively effortless. It's not gonna be Sisyphus rolling that boulder up only to have it fall back down again. When that's the case, I'm telling you, the best thing to do is remove yourself from that effort because you're not a vibrational match to what that boulder is, right? That's what I'm getting for y'all. Uh, let's get an oracle, why don't we do? My lovely Geminis. Let's get an oracle for y'all. This reading went by kind of fast, but Y'all's cards were just <laughs> be popping. I'm also hearing as a last note, this frog energy too. I feel like for some of you, this could be a detoxing and being vigilant about your own negative thought patterns. Five of Cups, okay? Because you bring about what you think about, think about right? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, the Oracle for my Gemini's. Oh my God, I am so obsessed. Bast, don't you love Bast? Independent, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Your independence, independence, independence. Haven't we been talking about keeping your energy your own and, and being the hermit, being the fool? These are two singular solitary energies here, right? I am absolutely hearing this. Do you see how she's living her best life? And I feel like another key word is the foundation for your strength and success. I feel like the foundation needs to be rebuilt here. And this is being echoed really beautifully uh, by these pentacles you have here, queen of pentacles and knight of pentacles. Take your time doing this. Rome wasn't built in a day. But if you take this time to really be the hermit, be the fool, and emerge from this place, so fresh and so clean, clean, not bringing in, not, not carrying anything over from the past or even currently, uh, moving forward that isn't of your highest and best good and a vibrational match to what you want and where you want to go. That's it. You got to be extra choosy and discerning for real, for real, right? And give yourself this time. Give yourself this time. We're moving into your birthday season, ain't we? So it's a really good time. I mean, when you have a birthday, it's it's, it's a natural time to kind of look at where you've been to to, to discern where, you're, where you want to go. So do that for yourself, okay? I love this for you guys. This is beautiful. These are some strong energies, but I feel like what's on the other side of this is just going to be as fabulous as Bastet. <laughs> for real. <laughs> you know, another thing they're telling me too is the cat here thing. You know, she's associated um, with cats, felines, obviously. 
they're telling me this. You know, and, and here's how cats are different from dogs in this way. <laughs> Cats are very choosy about who they cuddle up to. They don't come when they're called for them. Well, I have one cat who does come when she's called, but she's a funny bunny. They don't really come when they're called. They're not gonna go to you unless they want to engage with your energy. I feel like that is huge for y'all. Be a cat right now, okay? Less of a Labrador and more of a feline, okay? Be choosy and discerning, right? Yes, I love it. Okay, Gemini, this is your second half of May general reading. I so hope that this was of help to you and resonated with you. If it wasn't, it did. Please let me know in the comments below. I would just love that. And thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, but mostly, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.